Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. That will become on greetings and, and present and maybe one kind of standard greetings in the future. Uh, with, because we are uh, use the distance online and virtual, virtual meeting. The COVID-19 uh, pandemic has greatly changed the functional uh, functioning of the world, including the mode in higher education. In months, almost all classrooms had been moved to internet. It brought us an unprecedented global e-learning experiments. In mainland of China, more than uh, seven, 17 million courses have been offered online. More than 3.5 billion online learning events have happened. Dozens of uh, technical tools and platforms have been used. Sometimes they make us helter and scatter. Some teachers and students regard this unhealthy as a temporary interrupt. Other people think it will, it will be fundamental shift of our teaching and learning method. I agree with the opinion that it will impact the mode of teaching and learning essentially. The observation and individual experience of online teaching pushed me to think about e-learning mode especially about blended learning. An educa education mode which was born at the end of last century. How would, it be, how would it be conducted within distant environment? Will the absence of face-to-face -face communication do harm to learning outcomes. Here is a very interesting example. <clears throat> this e-learning forum are held virtually in response to the pandemic. But even, even if this forum is about e-learning, the digital and distance learning mode, the past 14 e-learning forum Asia conferences were held with face-to-face -face mode. Why? In other words, face-to-face is, is in this principle. In this paper, the following contents will be shared. The first is we will reconsider blended learning. Then one kind of blended learning model mode were being introduced, which is based on flipped classroom street age. To study the necessity of face-to-face -face learning, two types of courses have been taught by blended learning mode with a slight but but very important difference on face-to-face -face session. Finally, we will reach some conclusions from the analysis of empirical data. Firstly, let's reconsider the real meaning of blended learning. From Oxford Dictionary, blended learning is a style of education in which students learn, learn via electronic and online media, as well as traditional face-to-face -face teaching. 
for years. Blended learning has been used to, to combine the advantages of both online and face-to-face -face learning, in which students could control their own learning process and benefit from in-person interactions at the same time. In online part, teachers provide resources, tasks, assessments, and, and instructions to support the learners' learning. Learners control their own schedule, pace, and path. So the keyword of online learning is autonomy. In face-to-face -face part, teachers provide environments, lectures, activities, and supposed to make the learner learning deeply. Learners will do discussion, exercise, teamwork, and presentations. The keyword of face-to-face -face learning is interaction. Normally, we think online learning must be supported by IT tools, and face-to-face -face learning must be in a real classroom. But the experience in last year make us rethinking about the face-to-face -face, face -face learning. Does interaction only occur in brick and motor classroom? In fact, many courses have been taught by instant message tours or online meeting tours, for example, Zoom, during the pandemic. This kind of live online teaching and learning is hard to be accepted as autonomous learning part in blended learning. Conversely, it is one kind of face-to-face -face learning by an online virtual way. So a hypothesis has been proposed. Different part in blended learning should be distinguished by the pedagogy used, not technical features. If this hypothesis is correct, then the virtual face-to-face -face learning by technical tools should function as face-to-face -face learning in real classroom. To verify this hypothesis, an empirical study has been conducted on two engineering courses. In this study, a specific blended learning mode via flipped classroom strategy has been implemented. As we know, in blended learning, before class, the autonomous learning has been done with individual pace and path through online resources. Then in class, interactively deep learning will be conducted under instructors leading. According to flipped classroom strategy, before class, learner get knowledge through through uh, video lectures, lit literature, literature reading, or other resources. Then in class, make sense of new knowledge deeply through practice, active thinking, interaction, and group work. So in blended learning via flipped classroom strategy, the online autonomous, autonomous learning part include watching micro lecture videos, lecture, 
literature reading, self-testing, preparing presentation with teammates, and complete team projects. The interactive activity in class part includes presentations and discussions between groups and live lectures delivered by the instructor. The scheme has been implemented on two courses. The only difference is in course one, the in-class interactivity learning is online. In course two, the in-class learning is in a real face-to-face -face classroom. Case one is a course titled Pattern Recognition. There are four intended learning objectives objectives in this course. The first objective is to understand fundamental knowledge of pattern recognition. The second could analyze and solve an engineering problem in pattern recognition. The third could work within a team to complete a engineering project. The fourth could express the results of problem solving orally or in writing. Before class, the students should do autonomous learning via a related MOOC, then prepare presentation with teammates on assigned topics and complete special a specific team project about pattern recognition. In class, the students would do presentation and discussions on the assigned topics. Listening to the live lecture delivered by the instructor and discussing the team project with instructor and other students. All of these activities were conducted online, but the, uh, with the virtual meeting tools, we use ten, uh, Tencent meeting. Case two is a course titled Intro Introduction to software engineering. The intended learning objectives in the course are almost the same as case one. Before class, the students should do autonomously learning by watching micro lecture videos, then prepare presentation with teammates on assigned topics and complete specific software development within a team. In class, almost the same as case one, the students would do presentation and discussions on the assigned topics, listen, listening to the lecture delivered by the instructor and discussing the team project with instructor and other students. The only difference in this course is that all in-class activities were done in a brick and mortar classroom, a real classroom. The data about students' learning outcome and the impact of different face-to-face -face learning mode, one is virtual and another is real, in two courses has been collected by questionnaire survey after the final class. The survey focused on three key points. The first one, the students self-evaluating 
of learning outcomes. The primary question is the rating of individuals' learning outcomes. To calibrate the answers, a sub subsidiary question has been asked. The students should describe three main learning outcomes. The ranking of before class and in class learning activities is the second question. The students has been asked to rank all learning activities according to their importance. The three point is the preference between distance learning and face-to-face -face learning in in-class part. The primary question is, which one will be more helpful to individual learning outcomes? The question for calibrating is, will the learning outcomes be improved when switch one in-class learning to another one between online and offline. All data collected has been normalized for comparing. Here's the results. The results of case one study shows the rating of students' learning outcome is very high. The most important learning activities is before class group discussion. While all before class learning activities, the autonomous learning activities are ranking higher than in class interactivity activities. Almost half of the feedback think traditional face-to-face -face learning will be more helpful, but other half think it's uncertain. The results of case two study shows the rating of students' learning outcome is also high. The most important learning activities is complete the team's projects and there's no obvious difference of the importance between the autonomously learning activities before class and uh, interactivity activities in class. More than a half of the feedback think online e-learning mode will be more helpful. But the second question calibrated the result. Almost a half think the impact of virtual or real face-to-face -face learning is uncertain, similar with case one. When we compare the results of two cases, some in interesting findings will be revealed. The first one is when students only learn online, they regarded autonomous learning before class more important. When put some learning activities in a real classroom, the students regarded interactive learning in class more important. So we know that virtual first face-to-face -face learning via techno uh, technical tools are not welcome. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think it's time for the next presentation. So, oh, okay. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, but uh, I see. I'll that show the, the 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 conclusion. Okay. 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 Finally, uh, this study will come to foreign conclusions. The first one is blended learning via flipped classroom strategies is helpful to improve learning outcomes. And teamwork is the most important part in learning process. Face-to-face -face in real classroom will be more effective and efficient. So uh, the 
hypothesis is not totally correct. And the last one is learners always look forward to other learning mode, even if they realize face-to-face -face interaction is better than distance learning. Thank you all. Thank you. Uh...